Hey everybody, it's Will from Will's Treasures and we're going to do a small wheat penny hunt today. I just purchased a small collection and I have a few rolls of wheat pennies. We're going to go through them together. We're going to see what we're going to find. Hopefully it's going to be something cool. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this is what I purchased. I have a roll of, and it's marked 10s and 20s another roll that's marked 30s one more roll marked 30s and this little half roll that's marked 30s also so we're going to jump right to it we're going to knock these out and see what we can find get them out on the table for you and we're looking for you know, hopefully we're going to find some, you know, it'd be nice to find a key date or a semi-key date, you know, 1931S, that'd be sweet, or uh, 1931D, you know, they have a very low mintage there, but we're going to go through them, I'm going to pop them up on a microscope real quick so you can see exactly what I'm looking at, so let's take a look. Nineteen thirty nine S. Not bad. Nineteen thirty. Nineteen thirty six S. We're going to separate all the S mint marks. Okay. So we got 36 S, 1937. I'm going to see how many S mint marks that we get. 37 D. Well, that date's very thin. Don't mind my nails, I'm a working man. 1937. My fingers take a beating at work. 1939 S. Look at that. It looks like it's uh has a little bit of paint on it. 39 S. Okay, so we're gonna keep all the S mint marks aside. 36 S. It's kind of nice that we're getting some S mint marks. 39. 34 38D Look at that some post mint damage there Another 36S Thirty four, another thirty five, nineteen thirty S. It's a cool one. I'll take that. Beat up nineteen thirty four. Another 36S, getting a little, little stack of them going, and a 35S, that's cool, very cool, very cool, alright, so that was the half roll, we got a nice stack of 36S's, we got a 37S, uh, 35S, and a 34 I believe it was, oh a 30. 1930s. So we're going to zip through the 30s first. I want you to stick around till the end. Then we're going to get to the to the tens and twenties. We're going to see what we find out in there. I'm kind of excited to find out 
what's in store in that roll. So let's get right back to it. Flip you up here so you can see what I'm seeing. And let's hope for 1931. There's 34D. Sorry about that. Computer wanted to go to sleep. 34D, 36D. Nineteen thirty-six. It's pretty, pretty beat up, worn. Thirty-nine S. Another S. We'll take that. Nineteen thirty-six. Thirty-seven S. All right. Another S mint mark. Another thirty-seven S. Back to back. Back to back 37 S's. Very cool. 30 S. Big old chunky S. 1930 S. 1937. 39. No mint mark. Pretty beat up. 35D. So tell me what your favorite thing is in the comments about hunting rolls of pennies. What's your best find? Let me know. Make sure you stick around to the end so we can go through that roll of uh, 10s and 20s together. Here's a 35D. No, 35. Oh, man, I can hardly read that. 35, I believe it's an S. Let's get a little closer look here. With the microscope. Yep, that's a 35S. 35S. All right. Back on the board with another S. Oh, back to back 35S's. Very cool. Now you guys definitely have to get one of these USB microscopes. I'll tell you what, it is a lifesaver. You can see everything. 39S, another S. You can zoom in and see the smallest of things. And I'll tell you, ever since I got one, it has changed the hobby for me 100%. 1935. I have found things, errors, different mint marks. I've found things that I passed right by. 1936 S. All right. So you definitely want to get one of these microscopes, regular 36. They're not expensive. I think it was like 30 bucks or 25 bucks. 1937, really beat up. So, I mean, you can get on Amazon and uh, check it out. 39S. Yep. 39S. Not in bad condition either. 39D. Like I said, you can get on Amazon. There's 30 39S and get yourself one of these microscopes and you'll be amazed how it changes the hobby for you if you don't have one. 37. Because I was getting to a point, 1930D, I was getting to a point where, you know, my eyes, my eyes were going a little bit, 37. And I was having trouble reading dates and especially seeing some of the mint marks. Uh, so this is a game changer for me. 39S. Good coin. Good coin. What do we got there? We got a piece of tape. 39. We got a piece of tape on the back of this one. Kind of weird. Gonna have to peel that off and see what that's about. 37S. All right. 
We are doing good with the S Mint Marks. 1930D, and that D is completely filled in. And the Liberty's all beat up. It's an Iberty. The L is pretty much gone. Another 39S. We're getting a good pile of those. 34. 34. 1930S. Another 30S. All right. Oh, almost dropped that one. 39. A little bit of damage. 38. So, you know, I'm looking at the dates. I'm looking at the mint marks. Giving them a quick look. If anything stands out. You know, if I possibly see any doubling or something like that. I'll take a closer look at it. It's a 30D. Um, so I quickly look at the date, I quickly look at the Liberty to see if anything stands out for me. Um, and I know what the key dates are, 1935 S, there's another S, all right, I think that's the, uh, second one of those, 39 S. Another 39S, back to back, and that one is almost completely gone, if you can see that. The 939 stands out, and the one's just about gone. Kind of strange how that happens. Nineteen thirty-nine. 37D. 37S, another S. All right. Love finding those S mint marks. <clears throat> 30S, back to back S's. I'm sure I'll be able to fill a spot or two in my collection with these. 1937S, good find. 39. Another 39, we're just about at the end of this roll. Another 39. All right. So, we did pretty good with the S mint marks there. I mean, we're starting to get a nice nice stack. We got 37s, we got, uh, what, what were these here? If I only had a brain, 1939s. So we got a nice stack of 39s and a variety of other ones. We're gonna shoot into this last roll of 30s and then stick around for the roll of 10s and 20s. I'm excited to dig through them. Look, here's another one with a piece of tape on the back. I don't know, you know, if they had that in an album or something. It's kind of strange. It's the second one. So, well, let's get to this roll, see what we got. Let's get started. 35S, all right. 38D, 39S, Popular coin, regular 39, 35, 39. And I'll tell you, you know, right now with everything that's going on in the world, with this virus going around, there's no better time than to break out your coin collection. This is 35S. Break out your coin collection and start digging through them. See what you can find. Start doing some penny roll hunts, quarter hole runs, hunts. 
you know, dust off the old collection, 39S. And, uh, you know, get yourself one of these microscopes, 36S. And see what you can find out there. There's my computer going to sleep again, 30S. All right. It's an old one. 37S. This this roll is turning out to be pretty good with the S mint marks. 39S. Just about every one. Another 39S is an S mint mark. Regular 39. Pretty happy with that. 39S. Thirty eight S. Wonder if somebody thirty nine, thirty seven. So dust off your collection, get to it, start digging through them, see what you can come up with shoot a video let me know in the comments if you find anything good 30s all right i've been more than happy to check out the video if you do shoot one with you hunting rolls of coins 37s another s mint mark always willing to check out somebody else's channel subscribe 37s because i love Love checking out what other people are doing. 39S. And if you like what you see here, please give me a like. You know, give me a share, subscribe, because there's going to be a lot more videos. 1930S with coin roll hunting. Um, I also do magnet fishing. I also go on hikes and video them. And I hunt boxes of coins, 30S. I have a whole stack, uh, you know, a few boxes of coins sitting right over here to me on the right here that I'll be going through, 39. And hopefully you will be checking those videos out. 34, this coin's bent, it's in bad shape. So we're almost done with this roll, 1935S, another S, very cool, got about another 10 or, 10 or so more to go, 37, 35, another 35, and then we get into the exciting roll, the lower dates, see what we have in store for us, I'm pretty excited. Look at that. Look at that eye. Liberty. Thing shifted over. That's some damage right there. Let's get a little closer. Closer look at that. Look at that. L I B. That eye is looking kind of strange. What do you think? Post mint damage? It was minted like that? I don't know. Kind of strange. We're going to keep that one to the side. Look at it a little closer later on. But that's why you got to. You got to have a microscope. 34. Oh, let's zoom that in a little better. There we go. Got to have a microscope. To find those things. 36S. With the naked eye, I would have passed that right up. 39S. Good stack of those, I'll tell you. Good stack. 37S. All right. Boy, out of the three rolls, we got quite a few S mint marks. 36S. What was that? All right. 
we're gonna do a wrap up after this I'll show you exactly how many we got what dates they are 37 last couple 36 s 37 D 38 s all right so that's the end of that roll we are getting quite a few estimate marks. Now we're gonna move on to the roll of 10s and 20s. Super excited for this roll. What, oh, what are we gonna find? We're gonna find any 1909s? Maybe a 1914D? Maybe? 1911 or 1912? Uh, let's see. Let's get started on this roll. Let's see what we're gonna find. All right, first one out of the gate is 1927. All right, one year away from the 26, 26S is a good coin, 29D. All right. Yeah, 20, here's 1919, that's a pretty common coin. Yeah, 26S, there was a, a pretty low minting. That would be a nice coin to find. 1916. All right. That's the oldest one we found so far. 1916, another 1919. Very common. They've minted a lot of them. 1917. All right. So 16 is still the lowest. And another 1919. 1939. How'd that one get in there? How'd you sneak into that roll? That was supposed to be 10s and 20s. 1927. We need a 26, 26S, another 1919, very common. 1926 with a pretty major scratch going through it. That wasn't a 26S, no, that's just plain 26. 26S would have been a good coin. Another 1919. Oh, this one's, this one's pretty worn. 1917, I think that's a D. 1917D. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. 1917D. 19 something S. I think, why does that look like a 46? And how did you get in this roll if you are a 46? Yeah, that looks like a 46. 1946S. How did he get in there? You're not supposed to be in that roll, mister. All right, back at it. 1919, another one. 1937 S. I don't know why these coins, this guy had it mislabeled, 1926. I want 10s and 20s, not 30s and 40s. I have no idea what that is. 19, this one is B. Beat up. I don't know. I'll have to take a closer look at that later. 1946S. 
I thought I was getting all 10s and 20s in here. It's an S Mint Mark 1919S. 1919S. Oh, that's an S Mint Mark. So we're going to put, where'd it go? Where'd it go? We're going to put that one aside. Oh, 1919. That one go. Is it that one? No. Okay, 1919S. Yes, another mint mark. All right. Trying to keep the S mint marks to the side. 1929D. 1926 another 1926 this one looks kind of smooth 1920 1920 no mint mark good coin though this is 1918 all right, so that's the third oldest coin. This one's looking kind of smooth. 19, looks like a 17. 1917. It's over 100 years old. How'd that one sneak in there? 1946S. 46S. 1926 another 46s all right 1919 1927 we need that 26s 1926s we need that 26s for it to be a semi key date. Another 1919. 29D. And that D is completely filled in. 29D. 1920. That's ah, got a very worn edge right there. But for being over a hundred years old, 1918. <clears throat> 29S. All right. We'll take that. 1920. Beat up. 1929D. All right, we got about a dozen more to go. That's a 1919S. Pretty worn away. Big hole there. We'll flip it over, look at the other side. Pretty worn. 1919S. That goes in the pile. 1926. We need that 26S. Where's the mint mark? 46S. 1920. 1917D. 17D. Another 1919. 1927D. 1929, a few more to go, 1918, over 100 years, folks, and it's still out there, 1920, <clears throat> a couple more to go, 1927, 
1917. So we got a handful of teens, 1946S. 1929, 1918D, 1927, last one, last but not least, 1918. All right. Well, we got quite a few S mint marks. I'm going to go through them. Give you a wrap up tell you the dates how many we got and i'll get right back to you all right so we're gonna do a wrap up here just went through all the piles over here we have uh these are all 30s and back on the mat here we have 219s we had a whole bunch of s mint marks 219s 129s, 830s, 835s, 936s, 1037s, 238s, 1639s, and 646s. And over here we had a 1916, uh, we had a couple 17s, couple 17ds couple 18s and a couple 18 D's so overall it was a nice hunt I mean we found some uh, found a lot of S mint marks a lot of teens so overall I was happy with the three and a half roll hunt <clears throat> and hopefully that uh, hopefully you'll be joining me on my next couple videos I have a lot more coins to show you. I'm digging through my stash. I'm going to be breaking out a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't looked at in 10 plus years. So join me on my next hunt. This is Will at Will's Treasures. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.